Hey everybody, welcome back to Race of History. I have gotten a lot of recommendations for the 40 to 1 live version, I think, from Woodstock is where this is from. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's where, where it is. Um, but I've gotten a ton of recommendations for it. There isn't lyrics or closed captions, so I'm hoping that you guys know the song at least decently well, and I have the lyrics right in front of me. So um, I'll be looking at the lyrics and the video as I go, and let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's get into it. My friends, you know your own history, but you know the whole world is. Yes, she had no people. <laughs> okay, I will drink once more with you, but I'm not gonna finish it because then I will be like that on the show. And that's no good. That's the logo. Are those Polish flags? You know this history, but the whole world is watching us tonight. Over 70 years ago, just over 70 years ago, on the 8th of September. The German army came to Wisna. Time out. How... How cool is it that because of the because of the content that they do, because of the things that they cover, that they can go to basically all over the world and they have it almost feels like they're nationals of the country because they have the music that is about that country because it's I, I don't know. There's just something about them that, that I feel like would be so cool to be able to go on tour to all of these different places and everywhere you would be greeted as if you were from that country. That's very, that's, that's very, very cool to me. They were led by Captain Vladislav Raginis. Oh, it's over the German invasion. They were less than a thousand Polish soldiers. There were over 40,000 German soldiers. Wow. 40 to 1. They held them for three days. Sorry, for, for those of you that may be new to the channel, I get suggestions and recommendations for songs to listen to. From Sabaton, I have never heard these songs, never heard anything about them. So I literally just go to YouTube, find the song, and, and turn it on. Um, and turn on the camera. So, uh, for everybody trying to figure out, like, why I'm, I'm trying to, you know, struggle and trying to figure out what direction they're going to go with this, it's because really all I knew coming into it was 40 to 1. So, um, but yeah, the German invasion of Poland. That's awesome. And they're doing it in Poland. And they were outnumbered 40 to 1!
to be fair, that really is one of the... Um, so because the German invasion of Poland is kind of what kicked off the war for the West, that's actually something that's decently well studied or well taught in the U.S. Now, if you went and asked some random U.S. citizen about it, they probably wouldn't know much about it. But for people that are interested in history and who like paid attention in history classes, it is something that is is pretty pretty well talked about in comparison to the rest of world history um, because it brings the West into it, and it really is kind of bizarre. I look at it similarly to um, how I look at the Winter War because for all intents and purposes, it should be a bloodbath, right? Like, and not only should it be a bloodbath, it should be a, a like, steamrolling, like, instantaneous German takes Poland, right? Like, that's, that's, that's basically what it was all lined up to be. Um, in the U.S., it's, I want to be careful because I don't want anybody to get mad at U.S. history curriculum. But it's actually taught in the U.S. that Germany may have had a much more of a prolonged struggle with Poland without the Soviet Union coming in. Like that Poland had, had done so well and surprised the German military so much that they were kind of scrambling. They were kind of, you know, trying to find their footing. And that once the Soviets entered the fray, that the defense for Poland kind of collapsed. So, um, yeah, this is just, this is one of those really cool, um, the, the Winter War is what I said for a modern comparison, but the, uh, the Battle of Thermopylae and ancient history, um, you know, there's there's some of these instances throughout history where you have over overwhelming odds, and even if, like in those scenarios, even if the the smaller number doesn't outright win, which obviously at Thermopylae that didn't happen either. Um, it's still like the the idea that you would even fight with those odds is like so powerful a thing that I feel like it it draws people into the story. Even people that aren't connected to it are drawn into it. Like, uh, well, what are you fighting for? Well, you know what what's making you stand up against odds these big? Um, it's really, really a a cool thing. And this is really cool, too, to have it be in Poland, and you're basically doing like a, uh, I, I mean, I would have to think one of the more famous modern things in Polish history, right? Like, I, I would assume so, anyway.
so many people. Okay, so <clears throat> that was uh, Sabaton's forty to one. I have a couple of things on on that that I, I want to get to. One, um, that was so many people. That was, like I said, I feel like the atmosphere at their live shows has to be just incredible. Um, and yeah, there's the video for a lifetime of war right there. That's another just massive crowd. Um, but another one is, it's, it's interesting to me how, because uh, the U.S. doesn't have, like, defensive sh struggles militarily, like, historically. Um, Pearl Harbor, uh, I guess 9-11 could technically fall under there, though that's something that's a little bit different. Um so really, it's pretty much just Pearl Harbor, and then if you want to go back to the founding of the country and the American Revolution, that's probably the the that's probably the real moment of like uh, American pride is that time period as far as like the the standing up of not just a military but like regular people to stand in for a, a regular military and looking at all of these different countries and especially one like Poland whose history is very checkered right they have had some some big ups and some real real bad downs um, as far as countries just kind of jacking their territory you know um, and it's, it's always so interesting to me to see how modern day people from those countries look at it and like kind of like the pride that they feel. Um, I don't know. That's just a cool thing because I don't really have anything to reference it to for the U.S. other than the revolution. But like the country was being founded then. It wasn't like there was an America and then the British took it, and then they took it back. Like, the, the country was being founded at that moment. So, um, yeah, it's just something we don't really have over here. And it's really cool to, you know, to, to see you guys um, be proud of it, react to it. Like, it's, it's a cool thing for me to get to see. So, um, yeah, that was another really good one. 40 to 1 by Sabaton. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Help me keep building the channel over here. And I will see you all next time.